Hey, we got a huge merger in Tankerland, just as rates are starting to fly. Coming up here on the job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhaber here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 732 here in the middle part of the country on Thursday. It is April 7th, 2022. Happy first day of the Masters to you. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Want to start off overnight with Samsung. A nice Q1 profit going at about $11.6 billion, beating analyst expectations by 8 or 9%. That's you know pretty good for a large company like Samsung. This just shows you why we do need to invest in international markets. There are really good companies outside of the U.S. While we do prefer having U.S. stocks in our portfolio, typically about a ratio of two to one versus international names, it's still nice to have uh, big companies like Samsung that continue to operate, continue to innovate, continue to do very well over in South Korea. On a go forward basis, we think this shows a continually strong economy. Samsung doing very well internationally. We told you off the top about a big merger in Tankerland, and really it's a merger of really, really big tankers, big ships. Frontline merging with Euronav. Euronav is going to be about 59% of the company going forward. Why is this important? When tanker companies have big fleets, they have big bargaining power. Really, it's a highly fragmented market. As we see consolidation, those tanker owners have better bargaining power so they can demand more for their ships. This merger is among the biggest, right? Two of the biggest companies are combining, and they're really some of the biggest ships. Some of the biggest owners of Suez Maxes, which carry about a million barrels of oil and VLCCs, which carry about 2 million barrels of oil each. This is important in an environment where the Russia-Ukraine conflict is causing trade routes to reroute throughout the world and be less efficient. Folks don't wanna buy Russian oil that normally buy it are sourcing it from other places, creating additional ton mile demand for ships. And folks that are okay with taking Russian oil at a huge discount are okay paying up for shipping longer distances. This is all a good thing for tankers, which have been in the doldrums for about 18 months. Keep an eye on the sector. We could see some really, really good results and some stratospheric stock prices. You know shipping has volatility and it cuts both ways. They can go up and down quite a bit. Last but not least, before we get you off to a nice Thursday and the golf, Warren Buffett stock up quite a bit, about 121 million uh, shares. His stake's about 11%. Pretty large investment in the company. Looks like a deep value play to me, right? That's what our models show for the company. It would not fit in one of our growth strategies. It's probably linked to one of our uh, more value strategies, although I don't believe it's in the strategy right now. On a go forward basis, it'll be interesting to see if Buffett does get more active. He's been fairly docile on the sidelines quite a bit ever since the coronavirus pandemic came along. We had the Allegheny deal earlier this year. Does he continue to deploy some of that massive cash for? If you want some additional information, throughout the week. Feel free to find me on the internet. I am out there. Until then, I hope you have a really good rest of your week. I'm off tomorrow. I am out.